I hope you're having an amazing day. My name is Colin and in this video I will show you my top 5 gaming picks on the Solana blockchain, specifically only for Solana. Tremendous potential there. Nothing in this video is financial advice, it is for entertainment purposes only. This is the chart of Solana today, sitting at about $200, right? However, if we look at the all-time chart, literally 2021 Solana was a dollar fifty, right? So as of September, it has done a huge run from basically forty bucks all the way until the all-time high at about two hundred fifty dollars. Right now, sitting about two hundred dollars, we can see a mass migration from games no longer launching on the Ethereum blockchain now moving to Solana, right? So it's just starting, it's not all the games, many of the games are still on other change. However, Solana is up and coming. So for the Solana token itself, obviously, if you look at the last month with the Bitcoin crash, but the last three months, you can see the tremendous potential and the amount of games launching has been significant. So I will show you some of the classics, some of the new up and comics, and some games that haven't even launched yet, including one micro cap fun project. All right, let's start off with Geno Pets, a project I have covered previously on this channel. It is a more Pokemon style game. This is what the website looks like. Basically, where you work with your pet in real life, so it can be tracked on your phone, and the activities that you do in the real world will give you points, and then you can battle in the actual game. The game is not live yet, there's a very detailed roadmap, but the coin is live, and the NFT mint has already happened. As you can see from the actual chart, there was a huge run. So this idea at I believe 80 cents. So after the actual IDO, the listing uh, already did a 15x return. However, right now it's under the actual listing price, not under the IDO price, so still at about a 15x return. So it did extremely well and it only got listed about a month ago, right? So it did really well. It reached uh, quite a significant all-time high, and that was because of the NFT mint. So you could see you had to hold up until this point to, uh, to participate in the NFT mint, and then it significantly dropped the day that the mint occurred, which makes sense, right? However, it does show potential with currently sitting on a 15X at a $46 million market cap. Right, so we're not looking for a 10, 20 X here. I would say based on the Solana blockchain gaming adaption, this could still do an easy four to five X in the short to medium term. I'm talking weeks, probably more so months, right? The interesting thing about the actual Genopads project is the basically uniqueness of the game itself and the steps they have already taken. So if we go to Solon Art, uh, which is the secondary marketplace for Solana NFTs, one of the biggest ones next to Magic Eden, you basically have an overview of the NFTs. And when we go to the price history, you could see that there's been quite a big price spike right here. And now the price has come down. Obviously, what usually happens with these projects, and that's what you see a lot, after the IDO, there's quite a long roadmap before the actual game goes into beta, pre-alpha, the live stages, right? And that is why I think Genopets is a great opportunity right now, because it is basically, according to CoinMarketCap, at the lowest low of the listing, uh, which is a great opportunity potentially to step into this project. If we look at the last seven days, right? This was like a real low $12. Uh, which creates a good opportunity because if the beta for this game comes out and it is as impressive as the teaser they have shown, the price of this token as well as of the NFTs uh, will have quite a run. You can see that there's only literally one or, well, one to four sales every day. Here there was a day there were no sales at all on these NFTs. And we're talking four sales, two sales, three sales, one sales, where this project was pumping the price. We were talking 20, 30, 30, 30, uh, 15 sales a day. So 
this is only one marketplace, right? So therefore, I believe this project has really great potential. What you don't want to have is for the price to pump and then you buy an NFT and you're too late. Right, so I'm definitely, in my opinion, buy when others are fearful. Oh, this project is not going to go anywhere. It's only dropping. Look beyond the day to day. Look at the week to week, month to month. Because the Solana blockchain gaming adaption, it needs time. Right, which in my opinion is very important. So therefore, Genopads is an interesting pick. But that's just the first one. It's probably also my least favorite out of the rest of the list. Because probably my number one favorite is Cryo War. Right, Cry War is my second pick. Um, mobile arena experience. It lo looks extremely good for a mobile arena game. No virtual joysticks, just on-screen buttons. It is very simple, yet I would say effective. And this is a game I think 99% <laughs> of people would like to play, which I think is very important. Uh, multiplayer game, jump right into battle and prove your valor. An action-paced mobile free-to-play one versus one versus one arena brawler, right? So it's a multiplayer NFT game. Uh, then they have some additional information regarding the project. What I think is um, the most important thing on Cryo Wall is the actual aesthetics, right the actual things they have shown so far the actual quality of the project and if you go over the white paper i you will see this throughout i've been very much impressed with cryo war and you can also see this in the chart right meet the heroes so i have a skin one on the heavy guy and there's a skin two they look quite alike there's not too much changes too many changes right there's just uh some design a skin three coming soon now, the Valkyrie, I think, are dope, especially the second skin is my favorite. This one is absolutely amazing, well designed, but it looks cool, right? It's moving. Uh, there's that additional A plus quality that we're looking for. They, they could have made it like a sketch, but they made it like animated, like it's breathing, it's moving. And then obviously the artwork exponential, I would say A plus rating there, skin three coming soon. Then you got the Centurion, which is also quite dope, right? They're definitely not basic. This one is probably the most basic one. Uh, then you have uh, transparency on the team, which I really like. And you got some big, big uh, investors and partners backing this project, which doesn't gar guarantee the success whatsoever, but it does show the potential of the project, in my opinion. Now, when we look at the price, which is obviously very important, uh, it didn't get listed too long ago. We're still talking about a month, month and a half, same as Gina Pets, right? So these games are all, most of them, quite early stage still, right? Had an amazing run. I think Cryo War, when we look at the actual project, so if I will just remove this website real quick, and I'll pull up Crypto Rank. It has one of the most insane returns so far uh, relative to the IDO. So at the all time high, it reached 169% return, currently sitting at about 55%. I think any investor would be extremely happy with that type of return, right? So when we look at Cry War specifically, at a listing price of only 2.8 cents, right? right now looking at 1.45 but that's not all again we are here right now after the bitcoin crash the altcoins specifically solana gaming took a big hit right all-time high here uh, of 4.7 dollars so in my opinion with a 100 million dollar market cap again i'm looking for the 400 500 million max right for for these games uh which then would be an easy 2x, in my opinion, back to $3, back to the all-time high would be a 3x, right? But this is more of a long-term play for me, just because I'm, I don't want to say obsessed, but just because I really like this game. And that's not something I usually have. I'm an investor. I don't play these games. I'm not going to play Cryo War. I just think it's a very, very good long-term play. And if you look at the chart as of the last couple of days, we could even pull it at last seven days. Right? There have been quite some spikes as well. So these could be short-term flips if you're interested in that. That's not something I'm too interested in. But the last day specifically, we're talking bottom lows if you would buy them at $1.50. Right? $1.50 for a game that only two weeks ago was at $4.50. Uh, I think on the Bitcoin recovery, if we experience that in the next couple of weeks, this one is literally um, the number one contender for stable 
returns. Not for the 1020x, I don't think that will happen in the short term, but I think this is more of the highest likelihood of that happening. You know, uh, smaller market caps, is actually not only Solana-based gaming, but in general are more risk, high risk, high reward kind of thing. Uh, but this one, I believe, has some true potential to pull things off. On to the next game we go. Obviously, I could not leave them out. Star Atlas, the biggest game on the Solana blockchain, sitting at a 250 million market cap, fully diluted at 4.1, currently sitting at a very cheap price as well of 11 cents, came at all time high, just right after listing of about 26 cents, almost 26 cents, but reached that point almost again uh, on the same spike that we saw on the other chart, which is about 21 here, and then it crashed. So an easy 2x, in my opinion, this one has a lot of a higher market cap already. So there's not m m as much potential. But if the full market adapts, you might see like a short term 4x here. Uh, don't want to hype it too much. But this one has been around for a long time, right? So we're talking 10 months here, 10 and a half months, which then means that if you see the website as well, it is truly something else, right? So they're taking you through like this timeline. You can see once you scroll, the timeline is moving and it goes basically through the whole experience of what the Star Atlas is about, the game, how it works. Um, really, <laughs> I would say magnificent way of uh, showing your website. I don't think it's the most user friendly because you have to scroll, you can't easily navigate back or anything, but it does show a very unique vision uh, on their project and what it's all about and i do think that star atlas will not easily give away their first position as uh, the solana black blockchain game they have the first mover advantage and i think they'll keep it i mean this looks exactly like a movie this is a trailer for a crypto game where the game is not even fully out yet but this looks like a real cinema style movie in my opinion I was extremely impressed when I saw this for the first time. I'm just playing it without sound right now so you can hear me talk. But this is really something else. This is like a Sidus uh, style level game in my opinion. Where Sidus runs on the Ethereum blockchain. I think Star Atlas uh, has a huge opportunity on Solana. And they're like good good contenders. They could even like um, be, be competitors or, or do a partnership. Who knows? I don't think it will come that far. But uh, yeah, Star Atlas, obviously extremely impressive. You can visit the showroom as well. And uh, they will show you some like of the artwork and the pieces there. Uh, you can go through everything that they have. And I mean, like this is, um, I don't want to say to be expected because definitely don't expect it. But for a game that has first mover advantage, they're moving really well. They obviously had had time. So 10 months is obviously quite some time to get everything organized and ready. Um, but I mean, there's literally, uh, they could also have slacked out and then not perform anything, right? So if you go to the play.staratlas.com, there's already some options to um, play, right? Which you can see the leaderboards, so the organizations are not ready, but there are players ready, uh, which total asset value, 1.2 million USDC. So there are some, uh, some hardcore uh, people on this already, which obviously I, uh, I appreciate. There's the marketplace where you can basically buy the NFT. So these NFTs are hosted on their own marketplace. I think you can use them for staking as well. Um, I haven't really thoroughly examined everything because as you can see, there are many of these battleships, trade ships, whatever you can do with it uh, in detail. So you would really have to explore, but to be fair, they are quite expensive, right? So uh, organization price, available supply, uh, you have this legendary ship, right? And if you would buy it, so the ask price is 360,000 Atlas. So we're talking about $36,000, I believe, for like the legendary NFT at this point, because it's 11 cents right now. Yeah, so these things are definitely not cheap. Uh, but if you were in it early, right, you always have the rewards. So I uh, got to give it to them that they did well, uh, specifically with this one. And you have all these different options, so you can explore that on your own. But I do feel like the quality 
again here the quality you can really see this is not a meme project this is no small game right this is definitely one of the the bigger more impressive even how everything is listed how it's displayed um, huge team right we can honestly say huge team and therefore tremendous potential star atlas on the list number three and these are not uh, hierarchy right um, cry war is my personal favorite star atlas i think has the most longevity uh, potential and first mover advantage and geno patch is just a fun project next up a bonus project which i would not even include in the top five but i think it's quite funny it's called turn up tiki's i fo followed this one uh, from the start so i didn't participate in their nft mint i didn't participate in a token but i just noticed before making this video prepping everything that the token is actually live right now which is quite cool um so on radium of course very low volume it just literally just went live like like an hour and a half ago so that's super fun. So what this is basically about, and that's why I wanted to show some, some people like meme projects. Um, it's like, uh, like these Tiki guys who basically you can make a village out of them. And then it's like uh, generating tokens for you with your tribe, right? So they are, you need to have these NFTs and you can make tribes and then they pray to the gods and you get like tokens in return. So if you're interested in that, definitely read this like very six page white paper of which the, you only need like these one, the Tiki's. Um, and, and it also says, what the fuck are they? So it's like, you know that it's like a fun project. And then you have, but the team is, is really dope. So they have been doing everything quite professionally uh, for, for like a more meme style, fun style project. Uh, and actually uh, the mint uh, was sold out the actual token is live so it's all looking uh, quite good to be fair you can find them on magic eden there is some difference in like qualities uh, like rarity or tier what's it called yeah so you got like common uncommon and rares rares are only one solana commons are 0.5 and uncommons are 0.6 the artwork is quite funny uh, specifically these with like the bulging eyes um, but I mean like a rare for one Solana, that's like a $200 investment. Um, looks like a fun project if you're into that type of stuff. Unfortunately, I'm not into meme projects, right? Because otherwise I would definitely jump on this just to, to throw some Solana around. But I thought it would be nice, at least for the turn up tickets, if I would include them here. Because I've been following them on Twitter and I do think it's a fun project. Um, and that means the reason why I'm including them most of all, is that it's not only major games that are moving to Solana with tremendous opportunity uh, in hopes that the Solana blockchain will get more mass adoption than it already currently has. Because I do think when we look at Solana, uh, it has at least a thousand dollar Solana price there if Bitcoin moves uh, more so in the next one month to three years to a hundred thousand dollars Bitcoin. Right, and then this has definitely the potential easy if it can keep up um, the speed, etc., and the low gas fees on its blockchain to a thousand dollars. So, turn up tickets for fun. Next up, Salt Chicks, one of my potential favorites. There are a lot of problems with early investors, which I have covered on my channel enough. So, I'm not going to go the negative route, I'm going to more of the short term potential four soul chicks specifically on the chart right so this was ido at 0.5 cents uh, it basically came from 80 cents of the listing uh, so basically nobody the token generation event didn't happen yet the token generation event occurred here at 30 cents and then obviously there was a huge sell-off to 15 cents it has been quite stable ever since some small pump on an announcement announcement wasn't what the investors had hoped and obviously i'm a major investor in salt chicks right the reason i'm including this in this list is not because i'm a major investor i'm just looking at the market cap right so based on the solana blockchain game which it is the game itself will not be ready for another year or so i do think it has really big potential in terms of the short term we uh, the token is not listed on any of the major exchanges it has relatively low volume only 1.5 million so it needs some more adaption in order to get listed on like gate.io qcoin and hopefully one day binance right in order for the qcoin 
and Gate.io. Maybe Gate.io might happen faster, but KuCoin will easily push this market cap to 260 million. The problem is this fully diluted market cap, so they would have to look at the token burn. I have discussed this in videos on my channel. If you're interested in that, check that out later. But for anybody who doesn't hold any Solchicker right now, why is this one of the top five coins? There, ha there is a huge audience, right? Specifically in the Asia specific region, region uh, Philippines play to earn. This game is huge. They have huge influencers in that space already. And we're talking about 26 million market cap at 15 cents. Yes, although there's a lot of negative talk from early investors, if which I'm included uh, in that group, not the negative ones, but I'm in that audience. I think for anybody who hasn't invested into this project, it might be an interesting opportunity to get an easy 4x on your investment. Again, we're not talking about 100x, 50x, we're talking about maybe 4 maximum 6x in the short term. And when I say short term, I mean less than four weeks, right? So the move should happen in three weeks, so before the 13th of January, when the next vesting happens. So if you want to consider Soul Chicks for an easy flip, I, I would say at least to 100 million market cap minimum, um, that, that should be able uh, to occur before the next vesting. If the tier one exchange is listed and connected before then, this would be a reasonable flip. In line, the NFTs. So with the price dropping of the token, the interest of the NFTs has also become less, right? So you can see that there's like three sales, eight sales, 16 sales, three sales, seven sales, six, five, two, 10, four, eight, two, where before, uh, it was a requirement to participate in the IDO, of course, 100, 200, 200, 200, 150, 125, uh, 233, like, like there's a huge spike. You can see the gray candles are basically, the gray candles in the back are the volume, and the, the blue line is the average sales price. So the sales price right now is extremely low. If this token uh, solves the problem with the circulating supply, which they say also it's not confirmed. So there might be some errors into this, who knows? Then it has tremendous potential. If the price goes up, the NFTs will automatically slowly follow with about usually a one to three week delay, right? So although uh, these NFTs are required uh, to play the game with the breeding and, and everything else related to Soul Chicks, um, they have a good potential. My entry point still, they have never met, which was five Solana, but they are very close with about seven Solana. So as soon as the price comes to five Solana, I will start buying these NFTs in order to wait until the project recovers and then make a very juicy profit. And I'm not the one complaining really, because I have about a three X on my $30,000 investment, which means I made $60,000, which is really, really, really good but we can do more, so we'll be patient. Last project, one of the more impressive projects I've seen recently. They've been working on it for about three years, the team decimated, right? Number five on the list, we're going to watch the video, just so you can get an idea of what the actual game looks like. I'm just going to mute this tab. Yeah, there we go. Um, but they basically have a full well, I don't want to say full playable game, but they are playing it, right? From the Discord, they're actually doing matches already. Uh, and the IDO is happening very, very soon. So this is still an opportunity after this game comes out to participate in the decimated IDO. Uh, I think one of the huge potential games. Game has been The team has been working on this for like two to three years, which you can really tell, right? They have tremendous experience in building games. This is what we would call a real game. This is like a Call of Duty, Grand Theft Auto, not comparable game in terms of size, but on quality of the vehicles, of the weapons. It looks like kind of like Halo-ish. It's more of a Fallout style game. So it's like post-apocalyptic. There's like a world with cops. There's like a full storyline. But this looks, look how, look how this looks. This just looks so much better than any of the of the quickly built blockchain games we normally see. We we normally see like the the so it's like Star Atlas level I would say in terms of quality, right? Uh, Cryo War is more of a mobile game, so that's not really comparable. And Soul Chicks is more of like an animated style, which is also not comparable. But I think this would take a lot more work 
than like a Soul Chick style game would. I'm not a game developer, so I wouldn't know, but I do think this has tremendous potential. And I think the footage speaks for itself, really. I don't think anybody would say like, oh, this looks stupid, this looks low quality. Uh, generally, uh, this looks really impressive uh, with what they've built so far. And that's the, the main interesting component, I think. They're actually building it with the users which I think most teams don't do, right? So they're actually asking for feedback, uh, doing the playable demos. They're hosting tournaments while the game is not even at that stage to, but it's like all battle work, like all feedback work. It's like amazing. Very, very much impressed how they build that. I, I'm surprised I didn't hear about this earlier. Well, a lot of people told me and I decided to wait, but I was happy to discover it in time for the IDEO to have that opportunity. Because the cinematics of, of a game usually look really good, just like this, like what they're showing right now. The cinematics look great, it has potential, but it doesn't mean that the actual game will look anything like this, right? So that they can show in-game content, which is actually what you would expect if you see a trailer like this. But the thing is, we usually see trailers like this and then a crappy, like, C-level type game. And this one adds up perfectly decimated, uh, showing, showing extreme potential. So definitely a reason why I added them on the list. Uh, I made a review of the website. It wasn't really working that well for me. Literally half an hour after I made the review, and I, I made it public, the owner watched it and they updated the website. So maybe it was already ready and not because of me, but I'm really happy that they did because the website is fast, it's fully working. Only last time the images didn't load, right? But they have like a huge audience already available, a huge game studio behind it with years of experience. And this is launching very soon, so you might wanna check that out. Solana based, based blockchain gaming, a lot of talking in this video, uh, huge potential, right? These were my top five picks that I'm actually uh, looking to get involved with myself. Some I already have, some I am still exploring, and you might want to take this into consideration. As always, do your own research, very important. Nothing is financial advice. Solana-based blockchain gaming, in my opinion, will be one of the biggest movers next year with the gaming potential and development we're currently seeing. And this chart basically says it all. If we would make the second lag, we're looking at a $400, $500 Solana, which then spills over to all the projects behind it. Tremendous potential. If you have any other cool blockchain Solana games, let me know in the comments down below. I'll be sure to have a look. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.